Hello everybody, this is Link, and we are here with another episode of Resident Rise Season 2. Okay, so let's get into this quickly. That's, this corner is kind of bothering me a little bit, because I can see over there. Oh well, but that's not the issue or matter of today, and as you can see, we have all these fancy new thermal expansion machines. So I've come right up and made a bunch of, I made uh, seven basic... Where are they? Uh, no, no. Basic. I'll be around here somewhere. Basic machine frames. No. No. Machine frame. Machine fra uh, Basic machine frames. So I made seven of these. And then I made seven of these. And I made 14 of these. A couple of years. And I would have made a. Po red stuff furnace, pulverizer, sawmill, induction spelter, magma crystal, fluid transposer, and energy infuser. Which also required a couple of these things. So I got that I got that done off camera, so that was pretty decent. I'm gonna put my thorncraft away for now. So I went ahead and I hooked the machines up to the system. So if we follow this cable, we'll eventually get to... Actually, we probably don't want to break that, but... Hey... Right. Let me get this out. Disconnect from there, please. But, yeah, so that's the power situation of today. Powered machine, I don't know. So we have our... Double expansion machines and and the Ryo machines. So this thing is doing its best to generate power now. Why is it not getting power though? Why is this thing not outputting power? This thing should be making power for me and outputting it to here, but it isn't doing that. Which is kind of strange because this has worked for the, for the longest time. Now it's not working. Hmm. There's a problem here. And I need to fix this problem. I don't like problems like, like this that come up. Wait, so. Do I just need to do that? The fucking, oh, yep, now you're doing it. Now you're doing power. But it's not going into here. That is... That's pretty strange, actually. Because... As far as I know, you should be outputting. Or is it just because of the th 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 expansion block? Is that it? The th expansion blocks do not work. Okay. Well... I do want to get a capacitor bank, so... I... Wait, what? Can I not make these? Vibrant capacitor bank. Oh. I have to do basic capacitor bank, alright. Uh, I could just move to the normal capacitor bank. Because... Those look like something we can. Alright, no, for now I'm gonna do basic capacitor bank. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a bunch of these. So, four copper, eight redstone, and a bunch of gold. So, exactly the amount of redstone we need. Actually, we might need more. Ah, yes, we do. Actually, before we go on to do this. I, I am very sorry for the lag. My computer is definitely playing up. I can tell it is. I don't know what's going on with it. Oh my god. This, these frames are incredibly bad right now. And I don't know if it's the pack or if it's my computer or if it's... I don't know what it is. That's the problem here. So i got to figure out what the hell is causing me to get 50... Well, I'm getting 90 FPS, but it feels like it's very choppy, and I don't like the look of that. 
I'm guessing it's because I'm recording, so it does that sometimes. Oh well. Well, I don't want to stop recording now. We only move forward. So, we need a redstone. That's right. I'll get off topic. Redstone. Please don't do that. Okay, so. You know, this really annoys me. I, I don't even know what causes that to happen. Because, yeah. Alright. Let's go! Oh! No, but it can't go. Can't get past the paving center warding. No! Okay. That proves that they work. I also had some more paving stones warding actually. So I need to add some add even more of those so they can go all around. Alright, so And you're just getting power now. You're just getting power now. What's the point of making this capacitor back if it's already if, if it's getting power? Okay. Well that is Why? Why was I not doing it before? That was... Oh well. But yeah, we made all these little expansion machines. Sawmill works. The only problem I have with this is that it is very slow. All these machines are going to be pretty slow. So, that's really the only problem. Also. But other than that, I think it'll be fine. How much MC does this have? No MC. This is an MC of 8. 32. Oh, I just figured out a duplicate. Because if we get 6 of these logs, that's 48. We can keep doing a loop of those in the oh, energy condensers, but. I think things like that are pretty cheaty, and I try to stay away from doing things like that, so I'm not going to do that. Okay. So. I guess I might as well show you the... What's been happening up here. We're getting an overflow. We really need to start installing the... Things to take care of the excess stuff, because... I, I, I do want to install... A energy condenser somewhere around here and get all that uh, get all, all the excess saplings turned into something all right so this is good now because we can get you know resonant and our and destabilized redstone from here and uh, yeah so that's pretty good so with energy glowstone what else can we get from here shell crothium blazing crothium uh, lava, resonant ender, the good factor coal, you know, a bunch of stuff. So that will, this thing will be able to help us a lot. So yeah, that's that's always nice. Nice. Okay, so I don't know what we should do right now. I really think I don't really think about this episode too much. We could try and get a thermal expansion a little bit, or we could try and get into flying. We could do, if we wanted to, we could try to get terrorist you. Actually, I want to look into that terrestrial. Ter terrestrial. Terrestrial. All right, terrestrial agglomeration plate now. If you wanted this one, you need a bunch of stuff. A bunch of lapis, block of minus steel, all these runes. I don't have enough lapis for that either. And also, I do want to do something. I want to go to the Twilight Forest. I definitely I want to go here because I realize that we can actually get. Oh, this is full. Oh no. Um. I want to shut it on the tree farm. I'm going to shut it down. I think we can just do it with leaves, can't we? Oh god. 
Alright, I want to I wanna shut it down the from It's time to shut it down because... I need to show you something. Like, we've got enough charcoal to last for days. So now that's there. So that on. If something... That's still moving though. Could be a visual glitch. Alright, tree grow. Do we have our watering? Yep. Tree's got to grow from this. Okay. That's not working. Then. There you go. Don't work. Yep. That worked. Okay. Good. That is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so, now that that's done, I want to shut down the steam boiler as well. I want to turn that off. I think we can... There's probably a way to shut it off. Uh, I guess I'll just do active with signal so that no charcoal will actually go to there. But charcoal will still go to the... Where is it? Charcoal will still go to here. Where it should be going. Speaking of that, where is it, where isn't it going there? Oh yeah. It's because of my code. Alright, well let's see, hopefully that should shut it off. No, that is not shut off. Well, I guess this thing is gonna wanna produce steam until it's. I was gonna turn it. We'll just take that out. It should be right. Okay, so we're gonna go back down all the way to zero. Uh, what else? Hey, I want. I want to go check over here. So that should be going to there. Any charcoal that comes into this chest, and there is none there. Alright, that should be better. Okay, so, I, just, I needed to turn off the tree farm, because, as it turns out, we've got a stack of wood, and we've got plenty of charcoal to power this thing. Which is what the tree farm was used for, just for getting wood and for powering this thing. So, I don't think we have any more problems. Now this thing isn't working. So, what is up with this? That's what I want to know. What is up with this thing? This thing is weird. It's like... Wait, this should be j putting the power there. Okay, I'm going to go for the capacitor bank then. Because it seems to be a, seems to be a problem. Alright, let's get some gold nuggets. I'm sorry if this episode appears to be boring. I always think it would be. It's a more do boring stuff episode. Alright, so. So let's get the things. Basic capacitors. That's what we needed. That's exactly what we needed. I'm need a. Redstone, block, and iron. That's how we get the capacitor bank. I think it was just four iron. So we should be able to do this. And we get a capacitor bank. Oh no, I didn't want to break that. Uh oh. I wanted to break this. Alright. Now. This thing is so much better in so many ways. Max input output, okay. 1000 RF a tick is its input and output. And this, the input and output for this thing is 200,000 RF a tick. So that's actually a huge upgrade. I want you to put your power in there as well, because I don't like you. So, yep, that's good. 
This is capacitor bank, although the only downside to it is that this hardened energy cell hardened energy cell holds two million RF and I'm pretty sure the capacitor bank holds one million. But that is because this thing actually no. I mean, I think that thing's more expensive actually. Actually let's check the RMC's capacitor bank. Oh, I can pass a bank for this. Its MC is 6.2k energy cell. This thing is so. Yep, yeah, the capacitor bank is much cheaper to make than this. So that's always nice. Although I, it it takes a lot of time to make this, but you know, cheap is always better. Am I right? I'm going to take that as yes. So, I don't really want to get into Tom Crofts today, but what I do want to do off camera is I was thinking of a way to sort of have a secret Tom Craft room be opened. So what I want to do is I want to have like a... I want to do something with a sword pedestal. Alright, so I want to do something with this. I'm curious with this thing. Hello everybody, this is Link and we're here with... N Wait, oh... Oh, uh, actually, you know what? Sorry about that. I've been... It's been a while since I've actually recorded the Ri Risen Rise. <laughs> That's a bit embarrassing. But, yeah, I... Um, remember last time, I was gonna... I was talking about, like, something... something I was gonna make something over here. In that room. Yeah. But, I've moved on from that. I want to get into mechanism today. Very simple mechanism actually, so not too big. I just want to make a few things. Is that not how you make it? Oh. I know, it's those. Is it? It's two furnaces. I want to get AE up soon. Actually, I want to explore in between episodes, and I found an AE meteor, and it gave me some of the importance logic presses that's what they're called so that is very nice it's getting all up in my business alright so what do we want for this thing uh, for now we're gonna put it right here so that's getting RF into it you know easy easy enough Sorry, it's not very loud. So, if you don't if you don't know what this thing does, it's basically used for every single mechanism. As you can see, it's used for atomic alloy. Oh, cause obsidian. No, it's used for reinforced alloy, steel, bronze. You don't really need bronze. You can use it for bronze though. I mean, you don't need to. There's other methods of getting bronze which I prefer. Mycelium, refined obsidian dust, osmium, uh, no basic control circuits, enriched iron, which is used for steel, enriched alloy, which is something I'm going to need. I've already been through those two. Read through that. Yeah, I think these are all just. Yeah, you know, moss stone, you don't really need that. But I want to get something. I want to get something to it. I want to get an electric pump. So, as you can see for the electric pump, we need 200 shallow, 3 osmium, steel casing, and a bucket. Okay, so it seems simple enough. We need a steel casing though, which requires steel, and to get steel, we need something. Oh, yes. We need something that we have a lot of. <laughs> Charcoal. So happy about that. So I'm gonna make eight eight steel actually. Something that means four of this stuff. Pretty sure. Yep. I know. I think I think I need even more. Um. I'll make. How much do I use? I need eight more in there actually. Now it's too loud. 
All right, so while that's uh, while we're waiting for that, I actually want to get hmm, which tree I'm getting. We could get another one of these. Another one of these could be very helpful. I'm certain of that, and I'm so glad we have this. Oh my god, it is amazing. This sterling, ah, uh, this no, the basic capacitor. It is so amazing. It is so awesome. I'm I'm so glad we got this because it's just way better than all the other things. So this is gonna be working in shine. That's the thing we need to make steel dust. And I made I made all these machines. I know I'm gonna use them eventually, but at the moment I don't really see me using them that much, except these two machines. I am going to be using a lot for things like. Blazing Pyrethium, I think. Wait. I think you need... Oh, I know, you only need that to get liquid. But the liquid... Is that used for anything? Um... Used for primal mana. Uh, Gel Chirithium. I know that is very useful. I'm aware of that. It's useful like things like this. You know. If you want to get, um, the... Redstone Armory tools, which look really cool, I must say. That is kind of cool. Actually, Redstone Armory. That is armor that comes with it. You can get Enderium armor. Oh, we could work towards the, this armor, actually, if we want to. We could try and go for that. Except they don't have the super mega uh, jet plate thing for the Enderium armor. Oh, you can get chains. That's useful. Ah, oh, that's cool. Full armor plating. Oh. Is that a feature they're working on? Must be a feature they're going to be working on. But, oh, tuberous just like... I thought it's like mashed potatoes. Ah, uh, <laughs> you can get lumium, mana infused, so that's just like... Yeah. Tickers I. And then there is the next one. Endurium is the next one up. I don't want to get simply jetpacks though. I need a jetpack, you know. Uh, I I do want to go for the dumb expansion ones. Actually, that's 10 million. And what's this? 10 million. So, double expansion requires a lot of ender pearls, which we actually have. So if I'm going to go for any of them, probably going to go for this one. But oh my God, it's expensive. We can probably get all this stuff. It's just the time it makes to get all of it. That's how it takes. <laughs> makes. Alright, so we've got this enriched alloy. As you can tell, it is done now. Now if we, we now what we need to do is if is to turn this into steel, we have to put this back into the red slot. And that'll start using more power. And start making it again. Once it's done we'll have steel dust. Another thing we're gonna need is something called what's it? Some sort of alloy. Enriched alloy is what we need. We need enriched. Oh. Enriched alloy. That's a bit. Oh, I see. So to get this, it's just redstone and iron in the metallurgic infuser. So that's pretty easy actually. But I'll get that after this steel is done. So. Actually, you know what, we can probably just grab this now, put it into here. Grab our osmium. All the osmium's in here for now. Alright, so we got our steel, which is refined iron. Refined iron is still the same thing, because if you didn't know, steel is actually a compound of iron. So, we've got the steel casing, which we need. Steel casings are used for, basic, for basically all the mechanism machines, which I am going to get into later, but I'm probably going to put them down into this room right here, because you do need a lot of mechanism machines to, ac to actually get this going, and I don't know, I haven't really decorated this yet, but I will eventually, so I don't need to worry about that, it's all good, we're getting a lot of experience, I'm pretty sure I said that earlier this episode. Alright, so... We got this done, we got the steel dust done, 
So if we need to get another machine oh, steel casing, we can get that. But now what I want to get make is the enriched alloy. We need two of it actually. So that means just two wrists in there. So that's 20. And then you just put the iron in there. That means you enriched alloy. And you'll see in a second. We'll have it. So we need two of this enriched alloy. We also need a bucket. Alright, let's get some iron out for a bucket. Alright, so we have everything we need for this now. Maybe three of them. So, if I remember correctly, it was three of that, two of that, that, and that. I mean, like that. Yep. So, we got the electric pump. Now, I also want to get something called a magmatic dynamo. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'm trying to get a nether pump system up. Which will be very useful for us. So, we need some silver, uh, a lot of invar. So, I guess I'll get this first. I'll get the uh, transmission coil. So, that's easy enough. Alright, so we got that. Then we need a bunch of invar. So, we should be able to get this. We have a lot of invar. How much do we need? Exactly three more. And we need two of those. So what we can do then is we can make two invite gears. And we can do this and get this. Nope, I always do these the wrong way, don't I? So we're gonna make Matic Dynamo. Now what well, the last thing we need is actually a spot loader. Which we should be able to get. We have plenty of ender pearls for that. Although it does require a lot of ender pearls, which does make me a little bit angry. Oh. But, oh well. Now, where are, where are my ender pearls? I need eight of those things. Oh, yeah, and as well as I need a chunk loader. I forgot about that. Uh, I'm not sure if we have a chunk loader lying around at anywhere. I thought I made one at some stage. <laughs> Oh, the noises from the animals. The chest's opening. Oh, we need the chunk loader. So. That's an underpill, five iron, and an enchantment table. That's very easy. I can get all that stuff with a snap of my fingers. Because of this. I'll come show you what I can do with this. If you don't already know what you can do with EMC. If you haven't seen my past videos on Project E. Hmm, let's think of something that could work very easily. Redstone. Redstone, redstone, it's obsidian. Easy enough. Very easy. What else going to turn into that? Um, coal? It's obsidian. Easy. So, that's enough. Yeah, I've got enough. Alright, so. What what else do we need? We need book and two diamonds to get the... Oh, and I need five gold. Gold's in here now. So, I'll be able to get the chunk loader we need. Which is good. Chunk loaders are very useful. Uh, if you didn't already know that. If you don't know what they do, they just basically load, load chunks around them. So if you're not in a, say, a dimension like the nether, normally the chunks would not be loaded. Nothing in that chunk will be, like, happening. It's basically nothing. But, because of this, we can do that. We can, uh, load the chunks. So that is very nice. So we can make this chimney table. We can get the chunk loader. We need an ender pearl. We need eight of these things. Oh boy, that costs a lot of ender pearls. So we can put one there. We can go all around like that. Get ten spot loaders. Actually, I want to put a few on my. Oh jeez, that is very glitchy. <laughs> all right, well, I'll put one. This covers my base. Alright, yeah, that's, that's well, the interface I wanted. I just want to put them around in the chunks I need them to be in. So one there, one there. 
No, that should be good. So we're going to the nether now. Oh, that's fancy. Okay, so we have everything we need. Oh, uh, we need pipes actually. No, we have them. Do we have any on us? We should have some pressurized. Yeah, we do. So let's go to the nether. Actually, before we do that, let's put on our nether armor. So we'll never catch on fire. <laughs> I know that was a pretty bad laugh. I'm sorry. I'm just feeling the breeze mirror right now. Cause my window's open. All right, zombie pigman. Zombie pigman. All right, let's go down here. And what you gotta do is you gotta put down the electric pump. Put down maybe a little bit over here. So put it down right there. Okay, easy enough. Actually, I should have checked the chunks. Ah, uh, it's gonna make it a little hard for us. I guess you're gonna be getting stuff that's in this chunk, this chunk, this chunk, and also this chunk. Now the great thing about these is that they just they can be easily removed, and there's no problems. So that's good. All right, now. That's letting for you to feel the trucks around it. We actually need to. I know some of you would have been worried there. We need to turn my power around it. So, we put that there. Got some of these pressurized fluid conduits. And if we put those on top. Nope. Bloody. Get back here. Actually, I want to get some. Some of these to walk on, that I think about it's just getting really annoying. Try to go set over here. Okay, so we got those there. And what else we need? We need the Oh, did I just forget the end of tanks? Oh, I forgot the end of tanks the most the most important part of this thing we're doing. And I forgot them. Oh, let's just go back home quickly and get those. Now, for something great, is I can be in their world, and you may not know, but those nether chunks are actually still loaded. And that is actually very useful. It's going to be useful for our thing, our pump. So we can get lava. Alright, so... I'm at the end of tanks. Alright, I got them now. Uh, where do I want to put this thing actually? For now, just put it on top of here. And you should output. I want you to output to the bottom. So I think that's that means it's on output mode. And then if we go over here. We'll put, a, we'll put this in the nether and we'll put on input mode. If you don't know what the end tanks do, they're, uh, they're like a ta it's like they're like an energy chest basically, except it stores liquid. So that's hopefully an easy explanation for you. Oh no, I don't want you to be there. I want you to be. Oh, I want you to be over here. Oh, how can we do this? I suppose you did that? Yep, that works. That's one way to do it. Alright, so yeah, you're on white. That's what I want you to be on. Now, to start this thing up, we need a bucket of lava. So, as you can see, nothing is happening right now. But as soon as I put a bucket of lava in this thing, it's going to start running. So I did that. Now you should you should start seeing this just collecting lava, and the lava should be going to there. It 
should be doing it now. Why are you not collecting lava? You should be collecting lava for me, Mr. Pump. And you are not doing that. Now, why would that be? Do you not work with these conduits? Is that the problem here? Okay, let's see. Well, let's look at this. In ex I want you to extract. This is keeping you filled up with power. Right, so. Do I need to like, put a lava source there or something? If I put, the, if I put one there, oh. Put one like, right there. You'll take that. Yes, you. Oh, now it's working. So, this. Now, as you can see, this thing is filling up with lava. But, if you go over to the overworld, you should see the portable tank filled up with lava. Now, if the tanks were not loaded in the overworld, the portal tank would not be filled up. There would be no interaction there. But, because of this, the tank should be filled up with lava, and we should be good to go. So, let's go check that out, actually. Put my mind steel armor back on. And I need to have an empty hand. Okay, so. Now let's go over here. And it's filled up with lava. So, that is what we've achieved today. We've achieved getting lava. And I do want to work on a lot more mechanism-y stuff. Oh, I need to fix that. Do I have any marvel? Yes, we do have marble. Now, where is my chisel? Here it is. We got the new chisel. The chisel uh, has been chisel mod has been updated actually, and it is really cool. I must say, I've been playing around with it on Sky Factory with one of my friends. We're doing Sky Factory together, not in a Let's Play series, just one of my real life mates. I'm gonna be Find that by ourselves. Alright, so we should have finished everything we need to do this episode. I really hope you enjoyed watching as I enjoyed recording and producing this episode. That was a hell of an episode. We got this now, yes! And that's about it for this episode, so Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.